What's going on guys? It's NY Prepper here. In this video I want to talk to you about a long range shooting fundamental and that's called the sand sock. And a sand sock is a very important aspect of long range shooting. If any of you guys are interested in getting into long range shooting, you need to get yourself a sand sock and you need to know what a sand sock is. It's very basic and it's kind of an old school method. Um, Nowadays they have what's called a rear bag and it's just a fancy uh, ballistic nylon uh, bag that you put under your buttstock and it's filled with uh, some kind of um, fill, okay? But before rear bags existed, okay, before the tactical craze came on the scene, um, you know, years ago in the Vietnam War and other conflicts, uh, snipers, military snipers used to use what's called a sand sock, okay? And um, the sand sock goes underneath your buttstock when you're shooting at long ranges, okay? Especially if you're shooting prone. When you're shooting prone, you need something underneath the rear of your, uh, your buttstock in order to stabilize the rifle, okay? So sand socks are very important for long range shooting and what makes them better than a rear bag is that with a sand sock you could fill them up when you're in the field, okay? And that's why they were so popular with snipers in the old school days, okay? Because what they would do is they would literally take their sock off from their uh, foot and they would just fill their sock with dirt, okay? And they would fill the sock with dirt and then they would just tie a simple knot at the top, okay, once their sock was filled with dirt. And then they had themselves a nice rest under their buttstock, okay, and that would stabilize the rifle at long ranges, all right. Um, and so I highly recommend that any of you guys that get into long range shooting always carry a spare sock in your uh, range bag. Or um, if you're a hunter, or if you're planning on uh, using a long range rifle after SHTF, you want to carry a spare sock or two inside of your assault pack, okay? Because you could use this sock as a rear bag, okay? And that's what a sand sock is, okay? It's literally just a sock filled with sand. That's why it's called a sand sock, okay? But if you don't have sand around, you could use anything. You could use gravel, you could use uh, dirt, whatever you have available that will fill up your sock and, and allow it to be pretty solid enough to where you can put it under your bucks, buttstock and it'll stabilize the rifle, okay? And the nice thing about a sand sock that's uh, better than a rear bag is that with a sand sock, what you can do is you can squeeze the sock to lift the rifle up, okay? So I'll demonstrate. If you watch, watch the buttstock, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hand and I'm just going to squeeze the sock. And as you can see, it lifts the rifle up, okay? And so you can make fine-tune adjustments in the field, okay, with your sand sock, all right? All you have to do is just apply light pressure, and even just applying light pressure is gonna lift up the rifle, all right? And, and that'll give you the ability to control your point of aim, okay? So it's a very beneficial thing, and uh, it's not something that you can do with a rear bag, okay? Rear bags are different, okay? You're not gonna be able to uh, squeeze a rear bag, and it's not gonna, uh, lift the rifle up and down like a sand sock, okay? So, um, you know, get yourself a few spare socks. You can go to Walmart. I got this sock at Walmart for like a dollar, okay? You can get like a 12 pack of just basic socks for five or ten bucks, okay? And, and you have yourself a bunch of sand socks that you can use in the field, okay? Um, I always keep one sand sock filled up with, uh, I actually have plastic, um, I have like plastic BBs in here, okay? Um, that's what I always have in, in this one, but I always keep a spare sand sock that I can use in the field and I can fill this with dirt, 
or gravel or anything in my surroundings, okay? And, um, you know, if we're talking about SHTF or even long-range hunting, you know, rather than having to drag around a rear bag, which is going to weigh an extra two or three pounds inside of your pack, you can just carry a spare sock. When you get to your location, your, your final firing position or... Um, you know, once you get to your, your hunting area, you can fill up your sock with dirt from the surrounding area, and uh, that'll function as your rear bag, okay? So, sand socks are a very basic aspect to long-range shooting, especially shooting in the field, okay? I'm not talking about bench rest shooting. I'm talking about shooting long-range in the field if you're hunting, or if you're in a SHTF situation and you want to deploy your uh, long-range precision rifle against some marauders or something like that, um, having a sand sock is absolutely essential. And um, they're so cheap, you know, get yourself a bunch of socks, uh, throw one or two socks in your backpack, okay, your assault pack or uh, whatever backpack you plan to use, um, and just keep them in there. And you can fill them up with dirt or gravel, whatever. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Stay tuned to my channel for more long-range shooting videos. And as always, take care. God bless. And don't forget the three Ps. Prepare, practice, and persevere.